This is Rachel from The Metrica, and this is our how-to video for the MLF assay using our new SC50 manometer. I just took 10 mils of my wine sample and placed it in my 100 mil plastic beaker. I'm now going to put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. The objective of this is to allow the sample of wine to boil for about 60 seconds. The sample has now cooled to room temperature. The sample will lose volume so bring the volume back up to 10 mils by pouring the sample into your 15 mil conical tube and replacing the volume with DI water. Pour your sample back into your vessel and add five drops of your boost juice. And mix your sample. You're now ready to start your assay. Make sure your wine sample, standard, and reaction vials are all at room temperature before beginning. First, detach your vial insertion assembly from your SC55 by unscrewing from the lure lock. Now you're going to add 3 mils of your wine sample using your 10 mil pipette into your reaction vial. Cap the vial, and with the vial insertion assembly, depress the needle into the septum. This equilibrates the pressure inside the vial. If you'd like to determine the quantity of malic acid in your wine, you will need to run a standard alongside your vial. Today I'm using the 0.1 grams per liter standard. Add three mils of the standard to a separate vial. Cap your vial and depressurize like before. Now let your vials incubate for 30 minutes shaking once every 10 minutes. For the pressure reading step, make sure and reattach your vial insertion assembly to your SC55. Turn on your SC55 by pressing the red button. Make sure your instrument is displaying in kilopascals or kPa shown in the corner. Now take your wine sample vial, shake one more time, and depress the vial insertion assembly into the septum. Record the highest value. Now repeat this process for your standard vial. If you are quantifying your measurement, you are going to need to uh, measure a check vial as well. Make sure you equilibrate your check vial before taking the reading. With the values you just recorded, plug them into the equation in your manual and to determine the malic acid concentration in your wine.